ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ವೆಂಕಟನಾಥಾರ್ಯ ಕವಿತಾ ಕೆ ಕೆ ಕೇಸರಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಆಚಾರ್ಯವರಿಯೋಮೇ ಸನ್ನಿಧತ್ತಾಂ ಸದಾಹೃತಿ ನಮೋ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಹಯಗ್ರೀವಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ವಿಲುಪ್ತಮೂರ್ಧನ್ಯಲಿಪಿಕ್ರಮಾಣ ಸುರೇಂದ್ರಚೂಡಾಪದಲಾಳಿತಾಂ ತ್ವಂಗ್ರಿರಾಜೀವರಚಕ್ಕಣಾನ್ ಭೂಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರಸಾದೋ ಮೈನಾಥ ಭೂಯಾತ್ Swami Desikan appeals to the Lord for the boon of removal of Brahma Lippi and that was not so easily achievable unless you have Anugraham from Pirmal. In this slokam, in the previous slokam, he prayed for the pranamams at the lotus feet of higher grievance to grow and that is my parama purushartha and that is the truth for those who are aware of tattva sthiti of the jivatma paramatma tattvam and the sammandam namaha 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 i is what we need to keep saying namo narayana and that is the scholar at vedantic scholars and bhagavata uttamas prarthana in this lokam he prays for the padara vindams dhuli anugraham on his siras so lord hayagriva it is said that chaturmukha brahma has on the skull certain code certain lipi murdhanya lipi tala yelutte in the srushti kalam of everyone the chetanan's life is laid out as per the instruction given in that lipi by chaturmukha brahma based on the karma so if it is written that he should be like this in this birth it cannot be changed aksharams return on the skull those lipis interfere with the pursuit of moksha sukham and the performance of tapas that would qualify one to realize such a parama anugraham so the jivan suffers from cycles of births and deaths and moksha anugraham goes away and away farther and farther so brahma lipi in in general and the durushkarani inauspicious letters on the skull interfere with one's pada sevanam of the holy lotus feet of the lord sri ramaswami ayangar recalls from periyatrivandadi pasuram 84 vaalti avanadiyai punaindu nin talaiyai thaalti irukai koopendral koopaadu paaltha vidhi it is a miserable vidhi fate it does not permit me to even praise him place with love the flowers at his feet bow my head and perform namaskaram to him before him and allow me to have anjali hastam folding of palms in a mood of praying pranamams it does not let me do because of the brahma lipi this is the power of lipi thala elut the dust particles from the lord's feet found on top of the heads of devas and brahma surendra chudapada lalita nam tadangri rajiva rajakkana those dust particles that is on the top of the heads of deva and brahma at their kridam when they bow their head at the feet of brahman that dust particles have the total power to wipe out these brahma lipi and bless one with moksha anugraham and that is what's referred here and swami mentions that perumal trivadi not just perumal trivadi the the dust from the perumal trivadi which is on some other object or the 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 dust itself is so powerful if that particles are sprinkled on our heads that would completely erase 
the chaturmukha brahma's lippy and whatever it could be whatever the power it may have that would completely transform so the pranamam prapatti can can get rid of that so one may not question that my sharanagati should should facilitate that right the sharanagati performance of sharanagati itself is the result of this bhagavad anugraham and the bhagavad pada dhulis power bhagavad pada renu is so powerful there is a traditional belief that brahma's writing on one's head has predetermined one's fate somewhat like pamis theories of fate line in this case in this verse swami so beautifully mentions that his fate script on the head be erased by the dust from the lord's lotus feet one small speck alone would suffice and one can start on a clean state so to say he pleads thus in this verse may the dust on the lotus feet of the lord hayagriva fall on my head so as to remove the letters that brahma has scribbled on it at my birth that thou shall be like this that writing of chaturmukha brahma decides all of one's life what do the devas down down from chaturmukha brahma to up the the celestial bodies indras do every day they bend low at the lotus feet of hayagriva they caress they fondle they receive the pollen dust of the lotus feet falling on their heads they cherish the hope that this will change their lot for the better and it, it that, that does not talk the glory of the the devas but the lowliness of the devas to get such receipt from the dust may that lotus feet dust fall on my head erase my fate lines so that i may receive successively always his grace so that i can get to attain and move in the direction of acquiring moksha anugraham even in even in paduka sagasram swami mentions the same paduka sagasram 50th verse hey bhagavat paduke you are you are unnudaya samipattil talai vanangum bhaktargal the bhaktas who bow down to you if there is any brahma lipi on their heads that get changed because of your grace say swami resika in paduka sagasram so because of the bhagavat padams dust fall on this paduka this paduka have the trivadi sambandham and hence pada dhuli pa is so great that is what is referred to in that so surendra chudapada lalita nam is not to talk about the glory of the thuli because it is on the kiritam of devendra it is on the kiritam of devendra to get devendra cleaned of that of his fate and that is what and and that is what should be understood in that context so swami even in devanayaka panchasat shlokam swami wonders at the miracle of the instantaneous removal of the lippi etched by brahma's own hand on one skull swami desigan is moved by the miracle of pada padma paraka yogam the union of the dust particle from the sacred feet of the lord with the bad letters written by brahma on one skull and their power to destroy those lippi immediately without the need to perform any yogam swami mentions in the shloka in devanayaka panchasat 
So, in the 19th slokam, he prayed for the growth of bhakti at the sacred feet of Lord Hayagrivan with pranamams again and again. In the 20th slokam, he prays for the anugraham of the holy dust particles from the lotus feet of Lord Hayagrivan to settle down on his head to remove all anishtams, misfortunes due to the Brahmalipi, Kavitarkika Simmaya Kalyana Kunashalini, Srimate Venkateshaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha, Namo Narayana, Adiyan.